the works cited page in mla format the works cited page is a list of all the sources that you used in your paper it's like a bibliography in that it lists sources and all the publication information for them but it's different in that a bibliography lists everything you read for your paper but a works cited lists only those outside materials that you use in your paper the works cited list appears at the end of your paper and it's part of your paper so it gets a header with a page number like every other page the title of the page works cited is centered but nothing else special is done to it notice that the entries actually everything on this page is double spaced just like the rest of your essay but there is a special indent here it's called a hanging indent that means the first line is not indented at all but that every line after it is indented if it belongs to the same entry every time you hit return you'll start a new entry you'll notice that the entries are alphabetized by the first element usually the last name of the author if there is no author the first element is then usually the article title make sure you collect full publication information for all the works you use or cite in your paper that way writing the works cited page will be easier for you let's take a closer look at one of the entries the first one starts with the author's last name comma first name period then comes the title of the article in quotation marks with a period smaller units like articles, poems, short stories, and web pages, get quotation marks, while larger units like books, newspapers, plays, and websites are italicized. The article title is followed by the website in italics and a period, and then by the publisher of the website, comma, and the date that the site was last updated, period. It's followed by the type of media, which is web for this source, as opposed to print or some other type of source followed by a period. The final element is the date you accessed that website and took down the information. Because websites change from time to time, knowing the date that you accessed it is very important. Note that date format for MLA is the day, the abbreviated month, and the year. Finish the entry with a period. Notice that you don't have to type out the URL for a website in MLA format that's a fairly new rule it's generally unnecessary because I should be able to search for and find the article using the elements you've already included as long as you've included the right ones more information can be found about the works cited page in your rules for writers handbook starting on page 490 and formatting the page is on page 526 you can also go online to the Diana Hacker website or the online writing lab at Purdue University to read more about this topic.